Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to route your Samsung Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus phone. Now, right off the bat, this method won't work for everybody, so I'll try my best to simplify and clarify. Basically, if you have a Snapdragon processor, which uh, I believe is the exclusive US and Canada models, this method won't work for you. I don't know what method will. This is the only one I know. Now this is uh, an international variant Samsung Galaxy S9. Um, now with that variant you might have you might be able to do this as soon as you buy it. You might not be able to. I, I don't know like what the constraints or the criteria is but basically what you need is something called OEM unlock and the way to get that is you go into about phone, you go to your build number, tap on it seven times. Now down on the bottom, you'll have this developer options. You click on that. And as you can see, it says here, OEM unlock bootloader is already unlocked. So if you have this option, go ahead and tick it on to unlock the bootloader. If you don't have this option and you know your phone is international, then um, it's uh, it might be that you have to wait a total of seven days of uptime uh, for your phone from the day that you turn it on. Now this counter sometimes gets reset for various reasons and it makes for frustrations and it's kind of a, a pain in the butt process. It's, it's not an exact science and, and it's not a flawless system. So you might, be running into such issues but the, the point is if you don't have it and you know your phone is international you got to wait your seven days and figure it out so the, the the idea is you can't proceed without getting this oem unlock so once you tick that on the next thing you're going to want to do is use smart switch on your phone to back up any important files pictures what have you and the way you do that and I'm not going to be explaining it in great detail, but it comes with your phone. And in here, you're going to want to click up here on the right. And uh, you can use the little adapter that comes in the box and plug in a USB flash drive and plug it into your phone and uh, back it up that way. Because this will erase everything from your phone, all, all contents. Again, if you don't know your exact phone model, you can get it from About Phone. And then you could uh, visit various different websites. I'll leave a link in the description for you. And it'll tell you if you have a Snapdragon processor or an Exynos processor. So again, this method does not work for Snapdragon. It only works for Exynos provided you have your OEM unlock option uh, enabled. Okay, with that said, we're going to go ahead and verify, first of all, that there is no root on the phone. I'm going to use uh, root checker. It says root access is not properly installed. Another great app that never ever um, falters is Titanium Backup. And it tells me it can't acquire root privileges. So I know for sure, for a fact, that the phone is not rooted currently. Okay, with that said, we're going to go ahead and turn off the phone. And then we're going to switch over to PC. Okay, guys, on the PC, you're going to want to head over to this link, which I'll have down in the description for you. And let's go over to Samsung. And I'm going to look for S9. So you can just click Control F to search for F9. And here we go. Now, this site knows that uh, the S9 uh, with the Snapdragon just uh, can't work. So they didn't provide you the needed file for it. So you see you have S9 Exynos, S9 Plus Exynos. Now, the S8, for instance, you've got both Snapdragon and uh, Exynos. Uh, rather, I'm sorry, the S8 Plus has both Exynos and Snapdragon. So that's what I mean. If you if you don't have Exynos processor, you know, you just can't do this. I'm sorry. So you go ahead and click on the one you want, S9 or S9 Plus. 
and then you just come down about halfway here and you can select either server Americas Europe don't matter now you just come to the very top one here this dot ing dot tar click on it download it and it's gonna be uh, in compressed format so you're gonna want to unzip it and the rest of the files that you'll need will all be in the description as well download all of them and extract them so I put them all in a folder here this is the recovery.img file that you downloaded from twer okay the first thing you're gonna want to do is copy this file after you extract it just like that and go into this tar tool Odin again after you extract that and paste the file in here now I'm just gonna delete those two files because you're not gonna have those when you do this so you just paste the file in here go into this img to tar md 5bat double click on it and just wait a couple of seconds it'll close out by itself okay now you should have received uh, this this file will be created recovery.tar.md5 so you copy that file and back up one and paste it in the main folder right here and then you're gonna wanna double click after you extract your Samsung USB driver double click on the exe nothing's gonna happen just wait a couple seconds and that's it now go into Odin and double click on the Odin exe it's gonna launch the application here and now what you're gonna wanna do now on the phone boot into download mode and you do that by holding your power Bixby and the volume down so it's power Bixby volume down all at the same time and once you see the screen that says warning on it it might be really faint so you might not see it clearly so you, you need to kind of view it in good lighting then you just hit the uh, up arrow you can hit the up arrow again and it'll it'll brighten up the screen for you but you basically want to be on a screen with a down arrow that says downloading okay then you can go ahead and plug in your phone to your PC using your USB cable as soon as you do that this first box is gonna turn blue and it, then it says it should say added here if you don't get that you might want to reboot your PC okay then you're gonna want to come over here to this uh, AP and you're gonna want to browse to that folder where you downloaded all your files and select this recovery.tar.md5 file so we get ready to click start but don't do it yet now as soon as we click the start on the PC on Odin you're gonna hold down Bixby and volume up and then as soon as your phone screen goes black you're gonna hold down the power button okay so be careful when you do this because if you mess it up you might have to wait seven days again before you get this OEM unlock alright so uh, again I'm not really quite sure how all this OEM and um, uh, RMM and uh, seven days deal is so just be careful not to botch it up all right we're going to press start on the computer as soon as we do hold down bixby and volume up screen goes off we hold the power button and if all went well you should be at this twerp recovery and you should have received a pass on the upper left in green on your PC. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do here is press keep read only, then go up to wipe, and then format data. And you're going to type in yes. You're going to hit the blue check mark. Sorry about the lighting, it's uh, not in my favor. Okay, don't reboot your system once this is finished. Instead, go back. Actually hit the home button. And then come back to this reboot over here. Press that and then press recovery. 
and then click or press do not install. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the PC and we're gonna copy a folder over to the phone. Okay guys, back on the PC, we're gonna go ahead and copy this root folder and we're gonna just paste it on your phone just right next to this twerp folder. And we're gonna head back over to the phone. Okay guys, back on the phone, you're gonna press keep read only again and you're gonna go up to install and you should see that root folder you copied. Just go ahead and click on it. And we're gonna go down to the Magisk folder. And you're gonna click on the Magisk.zip. And you're gonna swipe to the right to flash it. Okay, once it's done, it should say done down here. You shouldn't have received any errors in red. So you can go ahead and click the uh, reboot system now. And do not install. Now the initial boot up might take two to five minutes and it may reboot two or three times. So don't worry about it, just be patient and it'll go into the initial preparations and um, you know the initial setup. And I'm gonna pause the video and come back once that's done. Okay guys, we're back on the phone. Just go over and browse your folders on the phone. And let's head over to that downloads folder. And we're gonna click on this Magisk APK file and give it permissions to install. Once that's done, just go ahead and open it. If you get prompted to update, don't upgrade. I think we're all done here. Just You can actually exit out of this app completely. And then we can go ahead and just test root now, root checker, and verify root. And there you go. Just granted permissions, congratulations, root is properly installed. Take it a step further. I'm gonna go ahead and test it with titanium backup. Now, as far as hiding root from, uh, you know, like banking apps or whatever, and titanium backup, as you can see, works. Uh, I don't know, you can't really hide it. I, I tried it with that older method from several months ago that presumably hides it. And even though it told me that it's, uh, it's active, this uh, hiding method, my banking app still detected that I had root, but it let me use the banking app anyways. So I don't know about that. Okay, so as you can see here, it says root access is okay. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind is your device is more vulnerable to uh, hacks and attacks and spyware and viruses and all that stuff. So you just want to be extra cautious when you're browsing and installing stuff. So uh, as to not, you know, infect your device. I can leave a couple of links in the description for antivirus uh, uh, apps that are specifically designed for rooted devices. Because uh, your if your antivirus app doesn't have root capability, it's not going to be able to get rid of a... Uh, a virus uh, that you get on a rooted device because if, if the virus gets root privileges it's going to infiltrate deep into your system 